people have been asking for it. They've been waiting for it and now it's here. Yes, it's Lighthouse Mentoring Service. It provides a free one-to-one -one mentoring service for ex-Muslims, people that have doubts in the religion and it gives them that time which is free to help answer their doubts and then of course ultimately inshallah come back to the religion. You want to share in this reward? Why would you not? Donate now! Assalamu alaikum guys and welcome to another episode of Smile to Jannah. Smile to Jannah. <laughs> Man and civilization has been very fascinated by what lies out there. In our solar system, the planets that neighbor us like Mars and Venus were constantly fascinated with Mars. Is there life on Mars? Man! There might be life on Mars, there's, there's ice on Mars so there must have been water, if there's water there, there, there must be life. Wow, life on Mars! But subhanAllah when it comes to life on this planet, in the womb of a mother with abortion, no no it's alright, it's freedom of choice, what you do with your body is your choice mate. SubhanAllah, you see the hypocrisy here. But hey, no, <laughs> we, that's, a, that's a side point as it is. There's uh, in the scientific community or in the scientific news, we have discovered a star that's 27 billion light years away. SubhanAllah. What? Yeah, 27 billion light years away. Allahu Akbar. Yeah, we discovered it using the Hubble telescope. SubhanAllah, what an achievement. I've been seeing people discuss this a while. We're able to see so far. Allahu Akbar. But we're, just like we're so fascinated by what we're seeing outside, Allahu Akbar, we should be more fascinated by what's inside. Yes, the Quran says, Wafi anfusikum. Look within you. Yeah, and then the poets go on to say, because the more you look within you, the more you will see the spice and the variety and the answers to life. Yeah, because let's face it, many of us, we know the answers already. We're not stupid people. Yeah, we're intelligent people. We can reflect. That's why the Quran constantly invites us to reflect. Yeah, look within you, reflect, think, contemplate, ponder. Because when you do that, then that's when you start making sense of the stuff that's going on. Yeah, wafi an fusikum. Look within you, then you will find the answers. Alright, so what am I looking for inside? Well, I'm looking for what makes me tick. What's my problem? What's my issue? Find the root of the problem. Cut the plant off from the root, not from the shoot. I'll say that again. Cut it off from the root, not the shoot. Because if you cut it off from the shoot, it grows again. Cut it off from the root, it's gone. Finito, babito. Yeah? So, also bear this in mind, guys. We're living in a society where people make money from helping us numb ourselves from the problems. What do I mean? I mean entertainment. The entertainment industry is a multi-billion dollar industry. Yes, all it does is delay the problem. Yeah, drugs, <laughs> yeah, cigarettes, alcohol. Subhanallah. I saw one statistic here in the UK. 50% of women have a problem with alcohol here in the UK. And I think it was 66% of men have a problem with alcohol here in the UK. You're not going to hear that. <laughs> Why? Because it affects the football. You see when, you, when they're playing football, you can see on the side, Carlsberg and the likes being advertised like it's nothing, mate. It's like advice, that's like advertising cocaine. Ajeeb, I don't get it. But it's a society that we're living in. Yeah, numb the pain, numb the problem. Yeah, you're in an argument. I'll just, just watch a movie, mate. Just listen to music. What's that doing? That's delaying the problem. So wafi and fusikum. Look within you. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with being fascinated by what's out there. A person once was reading a biology book and somebody said, what are you reading? He says, I'm, I'm reading a book on akhidah and faith. And then he checked, he said, this is a biology book. He said, yes, it's increasing my faith in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Yeah, so guys, science brings us close to Allah. So bear this in mind, inshallah. When we see such discoveries, it should make us reflect and introspect. I mean, even when we look at the oceans on this planet, we barely even know 1% of marine life, 1% of what lies in the oceans. Yeah, it's very little, subhanAllah, but we're so fascinated by what, what lies out there. Let's, let's humble ourselves a little bit. 
Yeah, we don't even know what conscious, that we haven't solved the hard problem of consciousness. We haven't solved the problem of induction. And the lifeblood of science is induction. Well, science requires induction and you can't prove induction without making a circular reasoning argument. Yeah, so subhanAllah, there's, there's so much that we are yet to understand. I mean, why does a bumblebee fly? A bumblebee actually isn't supposed to fly. It actually goes against the laws of aviation. Uh, yeah, a bumblebee. We don't know how anesthesia technically works. So, subhanAllah, this is something, guys, which is uh, very important and Ramadan should help us to introspect. Yeah, wafi and fusikum. Let's leave it there, guys. Until next time. Assalamu alaikum. <laughs>